Nikki Novak here for YHN, and on this episode, we are talking Oscar fashion with celebrity stylist and the co-host of E! Fashion Police, George Katsiopoulos. Fashion Police, how did I do today? You are gorgeous in your helmet laying dress that you splurged on, apparently. I did, but are you going to talk behind my back? Uh, let me check, hold on. <laughs> no, I actually, I told you, I already complimented yeah. you on it. So Oscars are coming up. Yes. How, it seems like every season there's like a trend. There's like a color, or what do you, what do you predict we're going to see? Well, I don't, you know what, honestly, I just think those trends are super made up. Because ultimately, anything goes. So when you're styling somebody, because you've styled so many famous actresses, how do you stand out? Because I feel like every season, there's a standout. There's somebody that just sort of like does it better than everybody else. I think it's it's a combination of many different things. I mean, having the right girl with the right stylist at the right moment. It's like, I don't know Emma Stone, but Emma Stone seems like a girl who totally right. gets it. She's not afraid to wear fashion. She's not afraid to um, you know push the envelope a little bit, but she's never threatening. She's always like the girl next door. You never really think, oh, Amber Heard looks crazy, and she's wearing, you know, Givenchy Couture. Has she worn Givenchy Couture? I don't know. Um. Probably <laughs> All right, so my shape, what would you pick out for What me? is your shape? Bombshell? Are you going to make me talk about my own shape? You have a great body. self diagnosed Do you work out? <laughs> you have like, you kind of do. I mean, you look perfectly proportioned. Like, everything's, right? She's pretty hot. I saw you had your eye on this. I did. So you called the snake dress. The snake dress. Well, it's a snake collar. So this, I don't want to see like tons of big earrings or big lots of bracelets. I mean, you, this, this, you kind of when you when you have something like that, you just want to look that. What would I do with my hair for this? All about your neck. So I wouldn't wear your hair like that because then you're covering the basically the most important part of the dress. So you would either want to have this part kind of back more or just put it up. I usually like my hair natural on the red carpet. Yeah, I, I think natural, le well. less hairspray. Totally, but you could just put it in like a messy right. bun. I've been using this Tresemme stuff. Mm -hmm. It's called Split Remedy and it's awesome because it's there's no split ends so you can sort of just leave it loose. Well, your hair looks very beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. It's working. <laughs> I don't care who they are. They all want the beauty contracts, the you know clothing endorsements. They all want that. And in order to get those, you need to look good on the red carpet. So as much as you may want to express your individuality and your personality, sometimes it just doesn't work. I think it works for some girls. Like Zoe Deschanel has stuck to her guns, and she's you know got her own look, and she's, she's just got quirky doing down. It. She totally <laughs> does, and she does not falter from that. And it's paid off for her, you know. Thank God. But um, you know, there's certain girls that just you just can't. You don't want to be like Laura Finn Boyle in the tutu at the Oscars. I mean, but no one has ever anyone. forgotten it because as soon as you said that, that's where my mind went. Well, what do we remember about it? Like, what do you remember about it? Well, Black Swan, except Pink Swan. Because like, Pink, Pink Swan, yeah, and that was <laughs> well, cr cr crazy. That was well before, exactly. I mean, you just think like, oh my God, she's nuts. Unless, unless that's the image that you want to put put across them. Someone like Gaga can get away with it. Yeah, yeah, Gaga can totally get away with it because that's her thing. But even even with Gaga, it's just becoming, you know, the more insane and outrageous it is, the more normal it gets. All right, let's, How about let's, this, let's George? Going. How about this? These are editorial pieces. Yeah. So these are the types of, types of things that, you know, for a fashion shoot, you're going to shoot that, like that. And it's, you know, on a model or an actress, it makes for a great picture. You know, maybe someone like Lady Gaga will wear this out on the street, but yeah. I you can know, see no Rihanna wearing that. Yeah, or, you know, anyone. But we need these things because they make fashion shoots fun. I mean, when Madonna was morphing, she would stick to one look. I mean, that would be her theme, and she'd kind of do variations on that. And then you would just anxiously await, like, oh, what's her new look going to be? And that was kind of fun. And I, I actually liked the way Rihanna d did it because she had that red hair. And she kind of kept with that throughout her whole album. And I, I like that. It's like, okay, this is your thing that you're doing right now. And she just did variations on that and looked amazing while doing it. So let's see. Well, here, all right, here's just a good example of like ruching. I mean, this doesn't have structure, but any dress with ruching, if you have like a tummy that you want to conceal, that'll conceal the tummy. So those, those types of dresses are great. Dresses with sleeves, like long sleeves, it is a huge trend right now, but I don't get why it's not always been readily available because a lot of women, when they get to a certain age, they're just not comfortable going out with bare arms. This one here, heavy. it's heavy. It kind of yeah. caught my eye because of all the beading, and it's very elegant. But would you reckon? Who would you recommend somebody wear this? Like somebody younger, or somebody older? I think someone younger or older. I mean, it, to me, this looks like it would have a little bit of a drape. You know, you could wear it like that, so it kind of blouses a little bit, or. You could just take it all in and make it super, super tight and sexy and bombshell. So on a bombshell, covered up is fine. 
um, or on an older woman like Helen Mirren or a Jane Fonda, I mean, who they may not want to show their arms, like this works quite well for that. I think it's just, uh, it's, it's staying true to yourself. I mean, I think you really want to be comfortable on the red carpet. I think we've see some, seen someone like Kristen Stewart who wears fashion, but I don't think she's really comfortable in it. And she's clearly uncomfortable. Yeah, and she's like getting, you know, she's getting her vibe. But I think when we see her in a Balmain safety pin dress and sneakers, she shines and that's, that really works for her. And um, you should stay true to who you are. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, you know, you, you have advisors like stylists, publicists, managers, etc., who will push you, but ultimately you do need to be comfortable and and get it. I don't want to see a Nicki Minaj who can't walk on stage in her Grammy. You know, I don't know how high those heels were, but that was ridiculous. You know, paying for fashion and then there's just like, oh, seriously. <laughs> I don't think I've ever gotten over the prom. <laughs> this is a young girl's dress. Um, I don't think, yeah, it is, it's It's a dress. I mean, this is just like, I'm here. I think I could see like a Sandra Bullock in this or even any any young girl, like an Emma Stone or a Taylor Swift. I mean, this is pretty, it's just a pretty dress. I Miley mean, like, Cyrus has her name all over. Yeah, it. like Miley, <laughs> that kind of thing. I mean, like, best dress so far, I, you know, J-Lo to me is looking amazing. Um, for a woman her age, she dresses sexy and she doesn't look, She, you know, to me, she always looks age appropriate. But I think she just is a great example for women to dress sexy but not look like hookers. So for somebody yeah. at home, one quick tip from you about biggest do and biggest don't. Uh, okay, the biggest do is to make sure that you have the right undergarments because if you don't, no matter what your dress looks like, I mean, you know, if you need, you need a proper bra, you need, if you need spanks, wear them. Um, no matter how great your dress is, if your underpinnings aren't good, then you're not going to look good. Nice way to play Sorry. under beauty. And the don't? And the don't is don't forget your underwear. No. Um, <laughs> Brittany. The t <laughs> How I much fun are you, you having on Fashion it's Police? It's a blast. I love Fashion Police. Now we're going to an hour starting in March. I heard that. Yeah, okay. yeah I mean, I'm just so lucky. I can't, I can't even believe I get to go in there every week and sit next to Joan Rivers and laugh and just have fun and talk about clothes. and. It's kind of crazy. And like we all I love still... to listen to your laugh. You have the best <laughs> laugh in the business. Thank you so much, George. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs>